I am going to start uh, reclaiming some lead. So this is my basic setup in my area that I work. I always want to do this outside because of the fumes. And you always want to make sure the wind's at your back. Okay. Here is uh, some re reclaimed range lead bullets. Oops, there's a piece of brass. And uh, wheel weights. It's all very dirty, icky, nasty. Uh, here is, well first left to right, aluminum foil. I had to do the aluminum foil so when I put them down on the concrete step, uh, the concrete or the lead doesn't bond to the concrete. Learned that the hard way. I had to really scrub hard to get that lead off of there. And with grandchildren, there's something you don't want around. Okay, here's the uh, leather welding gloves. This is hot. So, you need them for a heat shield. This pan has the dross in my uh, stainless steel tools. This pan has my ingot mold. This is the clean pan. This is the dirty pan. Okay, here's my little Weber grill, which is what I use to smelt. And there's some remnants from the last time. Uh, we've got a pretty good sized gas burner in here and my uh, 20 pounder on the side. All right, I've got the fire going. I've got some uh, reclaimed lead in the frying pan, cast iron, and it'll take about 20, 25 minutes for that to melt. As this uh, pot of lead starts to heat up, it's gonna smoke and get all nasty. Some of the wheel weights have uh, Oh, glue backs on them. Some of it's just got all kinds of grease and dirt. Dog pee. Yeah, they pee on wheels. So, I, like I said, make sure the wind's blowing the other way. Stand up upwind of this. All right, well, we're getting close to melting temperature. So all the grease and bad chemicals are starting to cook off. This is definitely something you don't want to breathe. Okay, well we are at the point of melting. You can see we've got a lot of liquid, liquid metal that's starting to go over. We got paper burning off, we got grease and goo, but it is starting to become liquid there. Really nice looking. Okay, all those bits of steel will end up floating floating on the lid. All right, now I've got most of the, the junk, steel clips, bullet jackets. Uh, here's a square stick-on wheel weight that's made of zinc. It doesn't melt in lead. Just want to get those out of there. But as you can see, the copper and the steel, they float on the top of the liquid molten lead. So I'm gonna get the rest of this out and you can see all that garbage floating. We'll flux that out as well. There we go. Okay, so I took all, in fact, here, look at this over here. I took all the, the brass casings and all the clips and all that garbage out, so most of the dirt and powder that floated to the top, I got it off as well. And now we're getting to the part where we want to get all the rest of that dross off. So by scraping it, we can get a little bit of it. But by putting paraffin wax in the pot, and it's going to flame up, the wax will melt, it'll smoke like a son of a gun, and then it'll flame up, and that just pulls all the dross to the top. So I'll scrape the bottom of the pot, kind of mix it all around, and all the carbon and soot will collect all the, the dross to the top of the lead. And when that fire goes out, I'll scrape the rest of that off, and it'll be good and, good and clean, ready to pour into ingots. All right, so now I'm going to take the uh, ingot mold here. The two larger cavities are one pound each, and the ones in the center, you can see that's a half pound. So I'm going to take a scoop full of the lead. Careful not to drip it. Be careful so you don't drip it because it is a, a dangerous. 
All right. And then these will frost over, and it'll take actually a few minutes for it to get solid enough to pick it up. And I'll dump them out of there onto a sheet of uh, aluminum foil. Now I'm putting this on aluminum foil because uh, in the past I put it right on the concrete, and then the lead sticks to the concrete, and kids get into it, not a good thing. Right, two brand new one pound ingots. And they'll have to cool for a good 15 20 minutes before you can pick them up. And when I'm done, <clears throat> I've got uh, 20 fresh ingots. I believe there's 22 there, but I put two down for paper weights or aluminum foil weights. So if those are exactly a pound, there is uh, 7,000 grains in a pound. So whatever weight bullet you want to make for, uh, for your particular caliber, you can do the math. These are still very hot. And here we have <clears throat> each of those stacks of ingots. There's five in a stack, so there's about, well, 65 of them, but it's probably more than 65 pounds because some of those ingots I know are heavy. But uh, here's, uh, here's a fresh batch of bullets I cast just the other day. 125 grain round nose. 9 millimeters. There's some here. Ready to get tumbled. Here's some here. That have been lubed. Well, I say lubed, but they're actually coated with this stuff. Which is pretty much just like future floor wax. It's a uh, uh, polymer. Um, emulsion that uh, is water soluble but when it dries it dries very hard so I'm going to test that out as a bullet coating there's my production pot it's cold and uh, there you are then